Look, it's everything. The, the reason I'm so passionate about the ACC 15 years later is because there are no more resilient, resourceful, entrepreneurial people than refugees. Yeah? People who will cross the earth, you know, part the sea to be free, to save their families, to taste what we take for granted every moment. And what you can see through incredible programs like Given a Chance is what refugees want is not charity. They simply seek that beautiful thing called opportunity. And upon being given it, they'll pay it forward ten times further. What we see in the modern economy is it uh, increasingly is focused on knowledge and service-based industries. And the type of uh, low-skilled entry-level jobs that were available a couple of decades ago have, have uh, gradually started to decline. And employers in the areas of the economy where there is jobs growth uh, price a premium on education and skills and particularly on experience. And uh, a lot of refugees have skills, uh, they have education, but they can't get that experience. The success of this program is, is two, twofold. Um, I think for the, for the participants, you know, they experience this extraordinary um, kind of ability to be immersed in Australian corporate culture. And I think some of the, some of the things we've learned along the way around that are, what do we assume when someone is new to ANZ? Um, I, I distinctly remember at the start, we, we would invite a number of the participants to events, um, you know, morning teas and lunches and the like, and um, not many of them turned up. And I was thinking, oh, you know, what have we done wrong? We haven't, we haven't done the right thing. And, and we realised that the invitations to these events were in their email inbox. And nowhere does it say in an induction program that you must check your email every day. <laughs> Yet I bet all the money in my wallet that, you know, 99% of the employees at ANZ do, do that every day. So it's these kind of unassumed things that we, assume, that we kind of assume that the participants will know and understand, but, the, but they didn't. They, they were highly skilled in their fields of expertise, but the kind of workplace norms we underestimated. When we say given the chance and inclusion, we talk about, and my role specifically, supports um, not just refugees, um, but we support women, um, we look, we're looking into des domestic violence, we also look after the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. So it's an amazing job. Um, I feel complete, I'm blessed, and if uh, tomorrow Shane decided he wasn't going to pay me, I'll probably still do it. Basic problems f uh, faced by refugees. One is uh, they don't have networks into the world of work. Think about it. most of us and our kids get jobs because they have, we, we've got all sort of networks that we can uh, introduce um, uh, people uh, to e employers. So they don't have that uh, issue of having uh, networks. They don't have the experience in the Australian work environment. Uh, and often uh, it's as basic as uh, whilst being uh, literate, uh, their language isn't adequate to understand all the nuances of language and particularly in the workplace. So there are demand and supply side uh, issues.